What a beautiful day to check out a new game, Apico. New world. Oh, I could design my character. That's it. We're just default. We're LTG. Set sail. Creating the world. Forming islands. Filling lakes. Planting forests. Doing a whole bunch of stuff and then releasing the bees. Dear LTG, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps have always hoped you'd want to carry on the Keeper family tradition, and there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out here with the bees. Plus, I'll say it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. I've posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey, and I'll see you soon. Love, Nana. Set sail. Skipper. He, him. Ho, ho, we made it, LTG. And just as you have, we're getting your uh, sea legs. Ho, ho. Here we are. Port Apico. How's the music? Looks good. And what a lovely day it is. It was jolly good to have you aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Do you still remember your way around the place? Ho ho, no problem. Here, have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. Anyway, you best go see uh, the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier and down to the left. She's been a buzzin' ever since you let her. If you need anything, just holler. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful. Now, off you go. Luck of the Hive Mother be with you. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Ho ho. Okay, it looks a little bit loud. No, the music looks good. Oh, LTG, I should have picked a better name. It's so wonderful to see you. Let me get a good look at you. Have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Shall I put the kettle on? How was the boat over? Did you feel sick or... Okay, Nana, chill, calm down, it's cool. Sorry, there's me getting carried away. It's just so good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. When you said you wanted to go to get into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since we've had a keeper in the family. Your father never cared much for it. We're gonna play keeper. All right, I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. There seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. It would mean a lot to both of us. Take the guide. So we got a map, we got a guidebook. You can view the guide at any time with G. If you ever get stuck, just have a look through it. I'm sure some of Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. Well, anyway, look at me. I'd talk the ear off a bee. I better let you get settled. You probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. All right. Welcome to Apico. Click to claim the reward. That's a lot of words. Open and close this book at any time with G. We know that. Close books. All menus in the game escape. That makes sense. Unlock new chapters. This is a lot of stuff. This is... Is this early access or full release? I'm not sure. Ah, <sighs> Have a freebie. Keep her safe. Her name is Beatrice. We've got Beatrice, a common bee. Getting around. WASD. Hover your mouse cursor over anything. It'll bring up a tooltip with how you can use it. Okay, good to know. Interact with anything with the cursor. Can reach quite far with these cute little arms. Punch some trees, pick flowers, scare some birds. We can do that. Go hog wild. Let's go aggro some forest spirits. Take this axe. Okay, the axe doesn't have a name. So we got Beatrice, we got an axe. We need to get some resources. When you click something, you will use whatever item is in your equip top bar slot or held with the mouse. 
the cursor. Select that fancy axe we just gave you using the hotbar keys 1 through 8, or pick it up with the cursor. You can change your hotbar slot by scrolling with the center mouse button. Now we can do some damage. Try not to think about the fact it's made of wood. I said don't think about it. Okay, we won't think about it. Go ahead, click on some trees with the axe. Hold down too. Select 10 logs, come back here. Okay, so hit escape. WASD. Bam. There's wood flooring. We can hold shift. Can be picked up with a hammer. I don't have a hammer. We got a dresser, we got a bookshelf, so you can redecorate using a hammer. Shift does nothing, or space does nothing. I have two books. What is this book? Grandpa's Guide. Oh. Wait, I thought that I was looking at the map. We'll shift for info, info. M to open. I see lots of people that are all going to want to talk to me. Beatrice, what can I do with you? A blessed bee. So I see honeycomb. I see a little house. I also see stuff here. We can just hold it down or you can speed click. We got a flower. Bam, I already got the lumber that I need. No, I don't. Now I got the lumber that I need. Click to claim. Who are you? Person is out of reach. Red carpet. Barnaby. And Dr. Benjamin, BHD. Cool. I do see this. Basic apiary. What? Okay, common bees. So holding shift, 4444. Where's my Beatrice again? You have a five in there. Here, Beatrice, you're going in. Other than that... So that's the queen. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so were you... Okay, so this is going. Hive production. You have 170 seconds. So I'm guessing if I had these in here, you would produce honey maybe in these slots. And once this fills up, you'll probably do that. Can I put a flower in here somewhere? Okay, hit the escape. Hey, more flowers. Extractor. Shift. Decoration can be picked up with a hammer. Input slot. Okay, so you can have like filled honey frames or whatever and then get honey out of them. I'm getting it. Only complaints so far. No music, it seems like. I should have... Look for music if I knew that. I could pause and get some music. We could do that. All right, back in one second. That should be set pretty quiet. Okay, if I go back here, you're... Nothing happened, really. Extractor. There's a bunch of stuff. I should probably talk to people. I just don't want to talk to people. I'm antisocial. There's a microscope. I could sell this. I already know what this bee has, though. Diurnal. Is that like day-night cycle? Yes, it is. So this one's got a normal day-night cycle. I'm guessing this is for wet, sunny, okay, temperate, temperate, temperate. I assume this one would be the same. I don't know if I actually switched them out. What is this thing? Predictor. Ah! Not a queen. Huh. Okay, I do see stuff happened over here. So common bee, common bee, common bee. 
Did I not get a queen out of that? Huh. This one does have a five and it had... Okay, I don't know what. I should have looked at the stats. So are these possible traits? Something like that, like recessive? Makes sense in my mind, but I don't know if it really makes sense. Can I take this out of here? I could. So now, if I come here and we put in this queen. So common, 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 common. So I need to find some non-common bees, it seems. I'm kind of getting this. For now. Here, I'm going to put you in there. We're going to do that. Do I have storage somewhere? Crate. Yes, I do. Wood wall, wood planks. Honey rose seeds. What does this do? Spice. Okay. All right. I don't want to carry these bees with me, I don't think. That's doing something. We'll click this. So this is going to give me a workbench. When you click something, you'll use it. Select the fancy axe. We've done that. Okay, I already did that. Resource management. As you start the deforestation of this poor, helpless world, you'll notice you're picking up a lot of different things. While you can always see the hotbar at the top of the screen, you can open your full inventory at any time pressing E. That's helpful. Clicking will pick up any item in a slot and move it to any other slot. Pick up half the slot by right clicking. Collect as many of that item as you have in the menu. Okay. So I have to make a saw bench. Time to get crafting. Grab that workbench, plonk it down, click on it to view the menu. See a recipe for a saw bench. Get enough logs, craft one, come back here. Fun fact, the workbench takes into account all items in any open menus, so you don't need to be carrying the items to be able to craft with them. That's kind of cool. So is this where I'm setting up base? I guess. All right, we got this. We're gonna plonk it down. We're gonna click it. We're looking for a saw bench. We've got it. Click here. Already read that. Next steps. Introduction complete. That's all from this introduction. But don't worry, we're not going to leave you completely lost and alone with nothing but bees to keep you company. I mean, that actually, that sounds great actually. As you discover and craft new items, you'll unlock new chapters of this book where you'll be given different challenges and rewards so make sure to keep an eye here now go little one be free what no i'm not crying it's just really dusty here that's all just dust go and take this with you another axe okay i do see durability but i can't actually read it because of steam achievements 150 of 150. Cool. Do they stack? No. Which kind of makes sense since they have durability. What is this? I don't know, but it wants wood planks, which I can probably get from placing this down. If we click this and give it some wood, and we close this, and we do that. Ah! And we drag back and forth. Hopefully we'll get a new tier one of these. We get sawdust and planks. Bam. We've done stuff. I don't need that one. I do need this one. I do want this back. Craft that. I don't even know what I just made. A workbench. 
I'm using a workbench already. That was stupid. I just went and made the thing because I could make the thing. Ooh, but I could make a predictor, which we already have one of. And I could make all kinds of things. All of the things. So many things. Okay, this game has so much more to it than I was expecting. Wood planks. We can make more of those. Except I don't really have enough wood yet. Sometimes... This thing seems to, like, get stuck a little. Okay, I have enough wood planks, but I'm just gonna finish this. Cool. Output only. Is there, like, an easy combine? What does this do? Sort button. That's helpful. Help button. Target button. I don't know what the target button does. Okay, root bees and honey core. Good to know. So if I put these two down here and then I hit that, it does sort them together. You can go there, you can go there, you can go there, you can go here. I don't really need this right now. Okay, let's go check out our bee. Why are you going so slowly? There's a ton of flowers in here. Kind of surprised. Also, wasn't that bottom blue one supposed to be like a five? Hitting escape too many times. Okay. Bam. Super speed. It's not giving me as much wood as I would want, but it is cutting down pretty quick. It's oddly satisfying. Ooh, large rocks. I would like those. I do see an anvil. Let me in, let me in. Anvil. I could repair things. Bam! Except I don't really need to do that because I already had an axe. We've already got workbenches, but it's okay. Wood edging. So this is all just decorative. We're not at the point where I'm trying to be decorative yet. Can't go here. Carpentry 101. We've already done this, but not really, because wood sticks. How do I get wood sticks? Cutting logs. Genius. What is this? Saw bench. Perfect. Okay, I do want... Wait. I've already been cutting logs. Okay. I was thinking that it was saying cut planks to make those. It was. <laughs> Bam, we've got 20 of these. Tons of sawdust. Carpentry. Basic tools. Axes lets you collect logs from trees and bushes. Pickaxe, we can mine stone from rocks. Spades, we can dig up and dig up placed seedlings and saplings. Hammers let you pick up crafted items, beehives, and tiles. So we need to make those other three. Stone. Okay. It's doable. Get building. You know you don't have to just live in the wilderness with your junk all over the place, right? I just took somebody else's house. It's no big deal. I think it's time we got you building your own place. All right. Place tiles and walls will automatically snap to the grid. And you can hold down click. Place multiple at once. If you make a mistake, you can use the hammer to pick it up back up again. So I need a hammer. To get a hammer, I need to go to this one. We got new stuff. Wood fence. Cool. 
A brush. Could make a brush. Should be under here. Yes. There's also a spigot or a tree tap. Okay, I want that. I want that. I don't have enough for that. If I hit E, seems like I want like 20 more of those, whatever they are, just sticks. I already had a bunch of planks in my inventory. Oops. And this is actually enough to make 40, but... I don't have to make them all into stuff. So yeah, you have to wait until it's all the way over to whichever side before sliding back. I didn't make the hammer yet, I'm pretty sure. Like that. I do want this. Cool. Trash can, don't care. Small crate, large crate. Bench. Shift for info. Take a nap, which makes time pass quicker. Could be helpful. Okay, I do need more of these sticks. Tapping trees. What's brown and sticky? Well, okay, yeah, I guess so. But I was thinking more about tree resin. Collecting resin from trees will let you infuse your wood to make it more versatile and last longer for beekeeping purposes. To get resin from a tree, you'll need to craft a tree tap. Done. Equip it. Click. We can do that. Basic tools. Done. Get building. Haven't done that yet. Menu magic that can be moved around. There are a lot of menus. I have noticed that. Unsure what a menu is or what you can do with it? Press the question mark button for some handy hints. Didn't realize they could be repositioned. Stay open until you close them or get too far away. They just miss you so much, you see. Cool. Advanced controls. Shift while clicking to move that stack to the other menu. This seems good, but also... Huh. Okay. Like, how do I know which is the menu that's being focused on? I'm guessing that's what this white... No, they both have white borders. All right, if you have more than two menus... Okay, that's how to set the target. I understand. All shift-clicked items will be yeeted, yeeted over to the menu, to the targeted menu. Whee! Reading is still kicking my butt. Press Q while hovering over any menu to set it as the target. We get bee pollen, which sells for rubies. All right. Keeping organized. We've got a bunch of junk. Yes. Uh, no, we're still doing all right so far. Built in auto sort. Click that button. Sorted alphabetically. You can also... Click with the scroll wheel on any empty slot. That is good to know. Picture perfect. Photo mode by pressing P. Could show off our amazing apiaries to the world. We'd love to see the beautiful things you've created. You can share with us on Twitter by mentioning us directly. I should use Twitter more, but I don't know how to do that. Claim it. We got some sticky pearls. Waiting around. Um, there's not much you can do. Sleeping in a bed. Set your spawn point. Holding R for five seconds will respawn you back at the last bed you slept in. Good to know. However, it won't speed up your beehives. Come on now, be realistic. Benches and beds let you take a nap. I mean, that's the main thing so i guess you can skip the night cycle this makes the day pass quicker which affects trees and saplings okay helps weather end quicker 
Okay, don't give me all the stuff. I need to craft it. Now we're talking. There's also get building. Paint the town. Like clockwork. Sweet to the core. Okay, these don't seem super important. I like this one a bit. Let's get to why you're really here. Bees. All right, I think I'm going to split this into two videos. Next time, we will get into the different types of bees and hopefully find out what this game is all about. For now, I'm way more interested in this game than I was expecting. It seems really cool. Lots of reading, but the reading's not too bad. All right, that does it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.